Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is the Voltage Processor by Black Noise Modular. So today is a great day. This is the official launch of the Voltage Processor from Black Noise Modular. And it is exactly as its name implies. It is everything you want if you want to mangle your voltages, whether it's on audio rate stuff, whether you want to do it on, on LFOs, on CV, you name it, it does have everything you want for two channels. So you'll have an offset, your gain, um, your input attenuation, you've got curve settings for your modulation, and you've got your CV attenuverter right there on a very manageable 6HP module. Um, I do have to thank Alex and, well, the rest of the Black Noise Modular team, of course, for making this video possible. Uh, but that being said, I don't want to uh, waste any of your time because uh, here we go. Here we go. The Black Noise Voltage Processor. I'm going to run you through everything that this thing can do and, and also introduce how you can combine it with some of the other utility modules that I've just uh, put right next to it from the black noise range as well. But the reason why I want to do that is I want to show you that if you combine the right modules, the right utility modules, I might say together, you essentially get what I like to call a, <laughs> a modular maths of sorts or modular maths or search inspired function generator, however you want to call it. And the beauty is that with such a modular maths, you can essentially achieve great things. And as always, your imagination is of course the limitation of what you can achieve with these. So I will recommend everyone to have a look at the voltage processor manual that Alex from Black Noise has written. and why I want to recommend that is because he has gone out and about and really made sure that he jam packed that manual with a lot of patch ideas. So my initial idea was to actually show all of those patch ideas in this video. But then we probably ended up with a video that was three hours long. And I don't want to bother you with all of that. So first things first, voltage processor. So what you actually have is two channels that are similar but not the same, but you can use them very nicely in conjunction with each other. So what I'm gonna do is before I actually dive into what all of these things do, is I'm just gonna patch the output from the left channel into the ES9 so we can actually see what's happening. So the fun thing is that this thing is um, normal, if nothing is patched in, to be able to reach plus 10 volts. Uh, so you can immediately start to play around with how you can add voltages to this thing. So you've got an offset. So how much volts do you want to add to the signals coming in? How much gain do you want to have? So essentially, of course, this can also act as a VCA, which I'll show you later on. So the gain is essentially the bias of your VCA. So if I turn the, the gain all the way up, we can go all the way up and down with the offset. I can also just put it halfway. There you go. Always fun, right? Then we have the input, which is an input attenuator. So the input that you put in there can be attenuated by this one here, which is always nice. And then you've got your curve setting. So your curve will actually change your incoming CV, your incoming modulation signal, and it'll change the actual curve of that going from a very linear approach to a more exponential approach there. So you'll see that, I'll, I'll make sure to, uh, to showcase that, and also make sure that we can see that on the screen as well. And then you've got an attenuverter right there for your CV in. So first things first, let's, uh, patch something in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that we can just see what we are working with. So I'm just going to patch, let's say a sine wave, which I'm going to molt first. And I'm just going to patch that into the second channel of the ES9. So we can see what we have. There you go. So that is the sine wave that we are going to be working with. 
and then I'm gonna patch that same thing into the inputs of the voltage processor. So as you can see, we might need to make some tweaks to make sure that these are the exact same. So I need to make sure that the input is not attenuated and I might wanna change some things here and there. There you go. Might want to change that a bit. Quite nice, right? A teeny tiny bit up there. And let me just make one change to my oscilloscope. There you go. So we can then indeed, as we said, we can offset this, we can lower this. And right now I'm, I'm working with an, uh, with an LFO signal, but if I switch this to VCO mode, you'll see that we can just easily just change the time. I just want to change that. There we go. And the same thing works there as well. So let me just uh, change the offset again. There you go. Beautiful, right? And we can then of course make changes to the uh, input attenuation. We can change the gain a bit. And we can then of course also uh, start to add a bit of CV to that. So what I wanna do is I just want to introduce another LFO. This time it's coming from the SLU LFO from Black Noise. And I'm just gonna throw that into the CV in. There you go. And I might want to change this back to uh, to LFO mode, or I might just want to change this to make it a bit quicker. There you go. There you go. So nice. Let's uh, change this to LFO mode as well. There you have it. I might want to make a slight change there. There you go. Beautiful, right? And again, now I can start to play with the curve. So I'll go from a more exponential curve to a more linear curve. We can change a bit of the gain. Beautiful, right? I might want to uh, lower the, uh, maybe high, make it a bit higher. There you go. Just some things that you can play around with. So this is all nice and dandy, of course, where you can just do all these kind of things. But let me just uh, disconnect these for now, because what we want to do is we want to create some sounds with this, of course. And the beauty of that is its immediate application is, of course, to use this as a, as a VCA. So what I want to do is I just want to patch something from my hermit there you go. And then of course, make sure that we have a nice melody going. And well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not gonna be using the same melody altogether, but we're gonna make sure that we start with a slightly different one. Hopefully it's a nice one. So this is the melody we're gonna be starting with. There you go. Let's change it around. That's something we can work with. So what I then want to do is I want to show you what the actual signal is that we get from a gate perspective. So we are going to make sure that we get the information from there. So there you go make change to the timings there so these are the gates that we receive and let's then also patch the gates into the slu lfo actually creating an envelope of sorts so we're just going to patch that in switch this to that mode there you go And we can just play around with that a bit. 
So what I then want to show is what this signal actually looks like. So once we've done that, so like this, here you go, we can then play with the actual signal a bit. Well, that seems about nice, right? So a nice envelope that follows all of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch this into the CV in right there. And I'm going to take the output of the owner, so the sound we were just working with, I'm going to patch it into the input there. So I'm going to take the triangle wave from there and let's listen to that output. Here we go. Here we go. As you hear, we can indeed already make some changes to it. We might want to make sure that the attenuate, attenuverter is all the way to the positive side. We might want to make a bit of change to that, so we're not just listening to the linear signal coming into the CV in, and we can play with the game. And then, just like with any other, this is of course the the clean gates, and we can then of course change that to the full. So, very easy, very straightforward. This is how you can use the voltage processor as a dual VCA of sorts. Where you have your bias, and your CV attenuverter. And a nice input attenuator there as well. But this is of course not the only thing that we want to do. So what I want to do is I want to uh, skip a few chapters in the manual and I actually want to show you how you can use this combination as a sidechain compressor. And the reason why I chose to do that is because I've also shown how you can do that with maths. And now I want to show you how you can just combine several of these building blocks together to achieve the same thing. But before we do that, let's talk about some other things that you will need in order to achieve sidechain compression. So the first thing you're going to need is a is an envelope follower. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a bass drum from the foundation here. And I'm just going to show how that sounds and how that looks. So I'm just going to do the same thing we just did patch that into the malt, get the malt into the ES9, so we can see what we are working with. There you go. And then also make sure that we can listen to that. Here we go. Now we might want to make some changes to that sound. So you can perfectly see how the actual wave from this bass drum, how that behaves, right? So what we now need to do is we need to create an envelope follower for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab another copy of that and I'm going to patch that into the dual rectifier here. So if I then show you what that looks like, first we can get the inverse of that. There you go not that different. We can get the half rectified one. There you go. So what that actually does, it just takes the positive side of it, or I can get, get the full rectified. So and as you can now see, this is already looking like something that looks like an envelope. What we then need to do is if we zoom in, let's see if I can do that real quickly you'll see that this is not yet an envelope. We're just actually seeing the actual waves happening. And for an envelope follower, we will need to have something that resembles an envelope. So let me just uh, zoom out again. So what we're then gonna do 
is I'm going to take this, I'm going to patch that into the slew LFO. I'm going to make sure that we have that all set to the right things we want. As you can see, we are getting our signal. There you go. And we are getting something that is already, if we zoom in again, that has a lot of, well, vibrations in there still. So if we then increase the slew, and I'm first starting off with the full, we'll start to see that we are getting something that is looking more and more like the actual shape that we are looking for. There you go. I might want to add a bit to the rise. And we are getting a beautiful envelope that's being followed there. Let me just zoom in for, for a minute. So instead of just having the frills out there, we now have a beautiful envelope that we can follow. So let's zoom out again. Once we get this, we can then of course take any other, well, sound source and we can use this. So what I'm gonna be using right now is I'm just gonna grab the, um, the same melody we were just working with. So I'm just grabbing the, uh, the one from the Ona and I'm gonna patch that into the boundary so we get a nice envelope and, uh, and all of that as well. Bear with me. I'm just gonna change this around real quickly. So there we go. So this is the unsigned side chain sound that we, that we get. take this and I'm going to patch that into the voltage processor and we are actually just getting let me just start with the rest of the patch first so I'm just going to disconnect this and I'm just going to take this and that then needs to go into the left input because we're going to do some other things as well so what we're going to do is we're going to take the output from that left channel which we probably need to get a bit well, like this, and again, I'm just using the, the, the patch notes in the um, in the manual. So these, and again, these are great. I'll, I'll recommend if you're considering picking up a voltage processor, have a look at that. So we now have that. We then take the outgoing signal and we patch that into the right input, and we then, of course, take the output from that right channel. And we just patch that into the mixer that we've got here. And we can then, of course, start to do a lot of things here. So let me just listen to the clean sound here. You already hear that? pump going out a, a bit right so this is clean without anything and this is with the compression Right. 
change the wet dry with the gain here So again, don't get me wrong, I'm just gonna show these two patches, but the voltage processor is capable of so much more. So I would recommend everyone, if you are looking for your next set of utility modules, have a look at the black noise offerings. Um, combine and just mix and match to what you want because you can achieve any kind of, um, well, function generator uh, you want whether you want to have a, a an envelope follower whether you want to have site chaining whether you want to have vcas whether you want to do ring modulation amplitude modulation if you want to have a very uh, usable compressor you can do all kinds of things with just combining some of these well at its first glance very simple modules but it's all about in the combination right and that and i think this is exactly what makes modular such a great thing so um that being said i would like to say let's go back to the studio and uh, let's uh wrap this up shall we cheers <laughs> So I truly hope you enjoyed this video on the uh, voltage processor by Black Noise Modular. Um, so Black Noise Modular just launched their new um, web shop. And in order to celebrate that, they are going to give away uh, several of their modules for free. So what you can do is you can uh, just click the link which I'm gonna be putting somewhere on this screen, but also in the description below. Uh, so just click that link and make sure that you uh, throw your uh, name in there in order to uh, have a chance to win any of the free modules that uh, Alex is giving away. Um, that being said, let's talk about the voltage processor. So I am just so very impressed with what can be achieved with just 6 HP and yeah you might say well essentially it's a VCA with some extra uh, tricks up its sleeve but yes absolutely that's exactly what it is and this gives it exactly the amount of flexibility you need essentially from all your VCAs if you ask me uh, and there's a reason why I mentioned that this in combination with some of the additional well utility modules from black noise but maybe also from others out there uh, will make a very good um, well alternative to include something like maths or another surge in uh, uh, inspired uh, function generator in your rack because this is at its core this is exactly what you need in order to achieve those kind of things so I would say this is a no-brainer for everyone who is currently building their rack and is looking for um, that additional flexibility and that additional control within your modular setup. Um, from a pricing perspective, these are very attractively priced, I might say, uh, but I will link to the web shop down below as well so you can have a look at that. Um, Alex is shipping these as kits, but also as fully assembled and tested modules as well so go and have a look at those down below uh, that being said i do have to say i will hope and see every one of you uh, in super booth next week i'll be there on friday and on saturday so if you see me walking by come and say hi love to see and hear all the feedback you guys have for me because uh, that's how i want to uh, learn and grow as a person as well so uh, that being said hope to see you there and if you're not going to uh, go to Super Booth or if you've got other plans, enjoy and hope to see you uh, for my next video then. For now, stay safe, stay healthy. See you soon. Cheers.